Thank you so much. Good morning. Since I'm talking about fasting, I feel like maybe your overnight fast is extending just a little bit with coffee arriving at 10. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Fantastic. So hopefully, I, I know my humor comes across in some of these, but hopefully it, it is good. FMD or FML, talking about my experiences with the fasting mimicking diet. Kids made this. We, we played with some fun memes. What do we choose? FMD, fasting mimicking diet, FML. Raise your hand if you think you know what FML means. <laughs> it's slang for F my life. <laughs> yes. So when I do this, my husband, he'll ask, oh, is it F FML week again? I roll my eyes and get upset at him. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming this morning. Today, I will share my personal experiences with this fasting mimicking diet that I call FMD. And I will describe what typical experiences and results are like. I'll describe both the official and homemade versions and the benefits and challenges of each. I'll discuss how often FMD is recommended for various groups, and I'll identify who is and is not a good candidate for FMD. I'll also talk about what you should expect when talking to your doctor about FMD. I hope you find my presentation interesting, useful, and maybe even a little bit funny. My title is meant to grab your attention while promising that I'll be quite honest with you today. As I just said, FMD is the abbreviation for the fasting mimicking diet. FML is slang for F my life. <laughs> We're talking about a five day fast, so I, I think it's appropriate. I worked my, my husband's humor into this, actually. My family's sarcastic nickname for my FMD. I have no formal association with Prolon, the company that sells FMD kits. I'm only affiliated with them as a customer. However, they did give me permission to use images from their website for this talk. My opinions are my own. Two years ago, at AHS 17 in Seattle, I found myself in a dire situation. My insurance had repeatedly denied continuing my multiple sclerosis infusion medicine that had stopped new disease progression for over three years. I was five months overdue for this powerful infusion medicine, and I was pretty terrified of having another disabling exacerbation as I did years earlier. My first night at AHS that year, I caught up with my dear friend, Rand Akashe. She, while well, she was finishing her master's, or, I'm sorry, her PhD in nutrition, she told me about a simple yet powerful dietary intervention that could potentially replace my multiple sclerosis infusion. Rand is brilliant, and she does research for a living. Still, I needed a second opinion. I shared Rand's fasting mimicking idea with Rob Wolf, the man whose book, Paleo Solution, motivated me to lead a more healthful life nine years ago. Without hesitation, Rob embraced the idea. In his presence at AHS, I was completely in agreement that this was what I needed to do. You know, in Rob's presence, you can do anything. So charismatic. However, just a few weeks later, I won my federal appeal. I won a federal appeal to use a med off-label. Pretty cool. So, in my own reality, without that against me, outside of Rob and Rand's presence, I lost motivation to push myself that far out of my comfort zone. To be honest, I thought the fasting mimicking di diet sounded like torture. But time passed. Oops, oh. Time passed, and I developed asthma and a partially torn rotator cuff. Okay, this might be out of order. I developed asthma and a partially torn rotator cuff on my dominant shoulder. It was limiting me substantially. I couldn't lift any weight over my head. I was drowning. It was bad. <clears throat> then we have the meme, when everything is going wrong in your life, but you're used to it. This sums up my life. <laughs> I'm only sharing a small portion of my health issues with you today. <laughs> There's a lot more behind the scenes burning. But uh, this, this is how I feel. I've had countless PT exercises, physical therapy to do every day, and I had a new asthma pill um, in this new reality I was living after AHS 17, just trying to 
make my shoulder work, I was getting the steroid injections, it wasn't working. I was not happy. By the way, all these things go away after the fasting mimicking diet, easily, but then it happened. My ophthalmologist, who I already saw twice a year for two other conditions, found a new disease process scarring my retinas. Take a look here, they're not supposed to look like this. The giant circles on the outside edges are, that's, that's the, um, your optic nerve, bundle of nerves, that's good. Thank goodness, which with multiple sclerosis, I'm lucky to have good optic nerves still. But all the other spots around, not good. The white spots there are called drusen, and these drusen fatty deposits in my retinas were um, a sign that some new process was going on, which later got diagnosed as Stargardt's juvenile macular degeneration. Because I'm a kid, right? Late onset. But it's, it's a leading cause of blindness in children under 18. I'm lucky to get it now, and not back then. Um, so these drusen deposits were multiplying over time. I had successfully fought two other conditions that were supposed to take my vision and I was not about to let this new process limit me. It was time for me to jump in and try the fasting mimicking diet. What did I have to lose? I'm told I'm going to go blind, lose my vision. Here's an image of the fasting mimicking diet kit from Prolon, the one that you can buy online. The fasting mimicking diet is based on Dr. Walter Longo's three decades of research on longevity and health. It takes advantage of the fact that our genetics expect both times of feast and famine. Today, food is available 24 seven, and companies like Grubhub are happy to deliver to you night or day. This constant state of being overfed is a critical mismatch with our body's expectations and needs. Fasting diets have become popular in recent years. Time-restricted eating and intermittent fasting both provide weight loss and fat burning, but prolonged fasting often lasting four to seven days, provides weight loss, but also changes at the cellular level that increase many, many, many health markers. Prolonged fasting allows our bodies to replace faulty cells and to eliminate harmful autoimmune and cancer cells and for our bodies to create stem cells. Fasting for four to seven days, even with water, is too risky for most people. However, Prolon's FMD mitigates that risk and makes a prolonged fast easier to successfully complete. Dr. Longo's team developed the FDA-approved Prolon FMD so more people could reap the benefits of fasting while mitigating the risks. The Prolon FMD kit contains five individual boxes, one for each day of the fast. Each box includes the nut-based L-bar for breakfast, dry packets, to make various soups for lunch and dinner, kale crackers, olives, and a Choco Crisp L bar for snacks. Each day's uh, box also includes a small bottle of diluted glycerin to add to, is flavored glycerin, raspberry or orange, that you add to your water or your mint or hibiscus tea. On certain days, you also take their multivitamin and or an algal oil omega-3 pill. On day one of FMD, you consume 1,100 calories. Piece of cake, that's super easy. Days two through five, you'll eat 725 calories. Not terrible. Prolon's research states that you'll enter ketosis on day two, and you'll begin to burn visceral fat. You hydrate well with unlimited water and decaffeinated tea, constantly drinking, to reduce your dizziness and risk of falling. You add the plant-based glycerin L drink to your fluids to preserve muscle mass during days two through five. On day three, autophagy begins and autoimmune and cancer cells begin to get killed off. When you're fasting, your body works hard to keep your vital systems running well, so those cancer and autoimmune cells are left to die. Fatigue is common, but fewer than 50% of people doing FMD get headaches. On day four, stem cells begin to increase reaching upwards of 700% by the end of the program. On day six, you finish the, the fast and you consume liquids in the morning and easy to digest foods the rest of the day. On day seven, you'll return to your normal healthy diet. Dr. Longo recommends a pescatarian diet as a normal healthy diet. 
Fasting in order to create stem cells has moved from Dr. Walter Longo's lab at the University of Southern California into the vernacular the last couple of years. But what is it really? From the website prolonfmd.com. Sorry for a lot of text here, but Prolon is a five-day dietary program that nourishes your body while promoting regenerative and rejuvenating changes, including supporting healthy levels of a wide range of physiological markers that contribute to aging, such as cholesterol, inflammation, and fasting glucose. It's a program that nourishes your body while promoting regenerative... That sure sounds familiar. The Prolon Fasting Mimicking Diet mitigates the burden and danger of the water-only fasting by providing a tasty, convenient, safe dietary program that does not require ongoing lifestyle changes, such as long-term dieting. So let's talk results. So you, the diet supports healthy levels of a wide range of physiological markers that contribute to aging, such as cholesterol, inflammation, and fasting glucose. Yes, we took this picture from the website Prolon FMD, but my daughter loves mice, so we won't talk to her about mice in labs. She, she put cuter pictures here, including the meme, the meme human guy. <laughs> so we, we altered that part a little bit. Um, but in the preclinical trials, they studied yeast, mice, and humans, and to see how they would do with prolonged fasting. And you can see the yeast have a better stress resistance, longer lifespan with this kind of fasting. Mice, multi-system regeneration, lower adipose, cancer goes down, inflammatory disease go down, immune and cognitive rejuvenation improves, and lifespan improves. For people, the regeneration markers, it says risk factors, biomarkers, diabetes goes down, cardiovascular disease goes down, and cancer goes down on this fasting mimicking diet. Pretty huge global results. So he's onto something, he's, it makes sense. I think we're finding our match with it from that mismatch of being overfed constantly. They're looking at, in, in the human clinical trials, Prolon's FMD results were based on three consecutive monthly FMD cycles. Each cycle is five days long. So five days month one, five days month two, and five days month three. The results are reduction in excess weight, fasting blood glucose, and growth factors associated with DNA damage and aging. It protects and rejuvenates your body from cancer and autoimmunity. This is the biggest, most complicated chart that I pulled from the website. But you have a few more details here. The reduced protein amino acid signaling helps the growth hormone insulin-like growth factor one go down. Reduced glucose signaling. I'll give you a moment to take a look at that. But the end result here in the green at the bottom, your weight, abdominal fat, relative body mass improves, glucose, insulin, IGF-1 improves, cholesterol, blood pressure, all these things. I had a physical last month. My doctor has nothing for me. I have a boatload of medical problems, but my numbers are good. Inflammatory markers, CRP, and stem cells all come out of this. So I'm gonna run through several slides pretty quickly, so please don't get stressed. I just wanted to show you specific results of Prolon's clinical trials. Participants completed three monthly cycles of FMD with lab work done both before and after. So I just want to give you a sense of how positive <coughs> and global that these benefits are. Oops. So IGF-1 marker associated with increased mortality and DNA damage to human cells was reduced by 14%. Pretty cool graph there, the before and after. C-reactive protein levels decreased from 1.5 milligrams per liter to one milligram per liter after participants had resumed their normal diets for five to eight days after cycle three. C 
stem cells, transient, major, and significant elevation of stem cell regenerative markers was also observed. Even, and it even maintained some after your fast, as you can see here. During the fast, your stem cells increased, they say, up to 700% from their baseline. And that's what fixed my, my uh, rotator cuff, I'm sure. Body weight, participants lost an average of five pounds in five days. The weight loss came mostly from the abdominal fat, shown in a reduction of abdominal fat mass. And I completely agree with that. My belts had to be taken in. Over a one inch lost in waist circumference. Lean body mass though is preserved on this. And I think that makes the FMD very different than most fast. Because generally people complain that they lose uh, muscle on a fast. But even though this is very low protein, just eight or 9% protein, their studies show that you keep your muscle mass. Total cholesterol was reduced nearly 10 milligrams per deciliter with some significant reductions of LDL from 104.9 to 99.2 milligrams per deciliter. In obese participants, body weight decreased nine pounds. Weight remained significantly lower after subjects returned to their normal diet for an average of three months. In overweight participants, <coughs> abdominal weight, abdominal fat was reduced by more than 7%. So this diet's changing lives. In participants with high cholesterol, total cholesterol was reduced by 20 milligrams per deciliter, and low-density cholesterol was reduced by 15 milligrams per deciliter. For participants with high blood pressure, systolic and diastolic blood pressures were reduced by 6 mil. Uh, meters of mercury. It just normalizes everything. This is what our bodies need. We need a break from eating. We need to reduce the protein briefly. Blood pressure remains significantly reduced after subjects return to their normal diet, even after an average of three months. In high fasting glucose participants, fasting glucose was reduced by over 10 milligrams per deciliter and remained reduced after subjects returned to their normal diet for an average of three months. In participants at an average risk for developing cardiovascular disease, C-reactive protein between one and three milligrams per liter was lowered. More than one milligram per liter, <coughs> putting them closer to the lowest risk category. Almost done with these. High fasting glucose participants, um, fasting glucose decreased over 10 points even after three months of normal dieting. No wonder my labs were good. They weren't bad before, but I mean, we all have friends that could, could use a little shot, a little improvement. So in summary, what is Prolon for? Three main things, stem cell-based rejuvenation or healthy aging. I, my, my shoulder went bad. Doctors couldn't do anything, it was inoperable. They wanted to just give me steroid shots twice a year for the rest of my life. I mean, I can't do that but the stem cells can fix the wear and tear of our bodies. It helps maintain your metabolic health. I just went through all those slides and there are far more on the website, FMD. Um, weight loss, fastest way to lose weight, it's fat driven. You're not losing muscle, you're protecting your lean bottle, body mass. Actually, let's hang out there for a moment. So Dr. Longo's FMD kit is sold by a nonprofit company called Prolon. All profits from Prolon go into the Create Cures Foundation, which is dedicated to donating funds for research and development that focuses on identifying strategies to prevent illness and promote longer, healthier lives through direct research, nonprofits, and charities. He does not personally profit from sales. Prolon's FMD kit is gluten-free and non-GMO, but it contains nuts. The kit includes everything you need for a five-day FMD cycle. It's seamless, tasty, and easy, but it costs $249. Just does not fit my budget. I bought a kit, and my first FMD went very smoothly. My stomach didn't even growl till the evening of the third night. For $250, I followed that thing to a T. That meant I added the right amount of glycerin to my water and tea, I ate all the food partitioned for that day, and I limited my exercise. 
Mentally, it wasn't anywhere near as tough as I imagined and expected. I decided that I wanted to see, and I have MS, and I get dizzy easily. I, I really didn't expect to feel as okay as I did during it, but it worked well. I focused on the fact that it's only five days long, and I do get to eat. I could do it. Additional FMDs have been far, far easier for me to finish. I gained confidence with my first one that I could successfully complete it, and that success has helped immensely with my future past. Let's talk about my results. So you saw the clinical trial results of groups of people. I think it was about 70 people. My personal results. I lost four to eight pounds during each FMD diet cycle, five day cycle. Unfortunately, the restrictions of FMD and living through one of the most stressful years of my life <coughs> gave me the mental freedom to loosen up my normal diet, making my diet yo-yo monthly with each FMD. However, without FMD, I'm convinced that my weight would have very likely ballooned this last year. So I'd still argue that FMD was very helpful in me maintaining a good weight, stable weight overall. I wanna talk a moment about my friend Susan, an online friend who's had extraordinary results with FMD. She used it to better tolerate her chemotherapy, and her oncologist was shocked at how well she recovered from her treatments. FMD allowed her to continue chemo while strengthening her joints, eliminating her neuropathy, and maintaining energy that was impossible during chemo before fasting. Additionally, my 48-year-old friend lost over 100 pounds in just five months with a combined FMD and pescatarian diet prescribed exactly as Dr. Longo recommends. Back to me though, we'll, we'll come back to her a little bit later. I had mild asthma, was just diagnosed a few years ago, had never even had an asthma attack, so I was comfortable skipping my asthma pill for the duration of the fast. Because during the fast, you don't take your normal supplements, pills, sort of things, because you don't want to interfere with the nutritional pathways and activate things that you don't want activated. So after the first fast, however, I forgot to take my asthma pill. Normally I would wheeze when I was due for that pill, but after my first FMD, I stopped wheezing. It's pretty sweet. It's very annoying to have a wheeze like that. That was so exciting. After my second FMD, my partially torn rotator cuff had healed enough that I could lift things over my head again without pain for the first time in three years. Full range of motion, it's all back. It's fantastic, I was hooked. How did my MS respond to FMD? Honestly, my MS was so active when I was first diagnosed 15 years ago that I take the most powerful MS medicine available and fatigue is my only lingering symptom. I wish I had a dramatic story to share with you today about my MS being helped by FMD, but regardless, I'm really happy that it's tightly controlled. The biggest problem I had was the price. $250 a month for five days of fasting did not work for the budget. I rationalized that the first FMD should definitely be from Prolon to maximize the chances that I could successfully and very safely complete it. I wanted to get the full benefits and reduce the risks. After that first FMD, I had to look elsewhere for food. Dr. Longo specifically states that people he does say people should not do homemade FMDs. This has not been proven, oh, sorry, disclaimer, while I followed, I, okay, you should not do homemade FMDs. However, spending $250 for food for one person for only five days wasn't working for me. So I made a homemade version, and I just wanna say the disclaimer here, while I followed the principles of FMD, this has not been proven, has no association with El Nutra, the company that makes the Prolon FMD. My second month of FMD, I tried a homemade version, but it had more raw vegetables than I could actually chew in a reasonable time. I couldn't even finish most of my meals. I was full, but it took so much energy to plan and shop and prepare and chew all that food that I was really happy with, not happy at all. 
I liked the homemade version because I could finally eliminate the beans and nightshades from the meals, but overall, I did not want to repeat that version. So looking for homemade FMD info, I searched FMD DIY, and I looked on Facebook groups, Reddit, and individual websites like quantifiedbob.com. I learned that some people are happy, kind of cool, some people are happy with the homemade FMD eating two avocados a day with two scoops of green drink powder and electrolytes. I loved the simplicity of that, but it sounded so boring. I found people having success with canned soup, and I really enjoy that protocol. It fits my needs in that it's simple, affordable, and bean-free. I enjoy vegetable soup, and I found some tasty organic ones um, whose macros fit the FM, or match the uh, FMD. In December 2018, Prolon began selling Fast Bar, which is essentially the nut-based breakfast L-Bar with 30 fewer calories. 10 of these Fast Bars sell for $35, and I really enjoy them. I found food-grade glycerin on Amazon and organic mint tea at the grocery store. Delicious nut-based crackers, olives, and dessert bars round out my meals. I found that canned soup or frozen homemade soup works best with my lifestyle and needs. The specific macros to recreate day one of Prolon's FMD are 1,100 calories day one, 10% of that is protein, 56% fat, and 34% carbs. Days two through five have 725 calories each day, 9% is protein, 44% fat, and 47% carbs. How do you approach your doctor about doing FMD? Since I have multiple sclerosis, I asked my neurologist. He knows that I always prefer more natural options when available, and he's been accepting of that for over a decade. I loaned him Dr. Longo's book, The Longevity Diet, if anyone wants to take a look later, and I marked the most relevant parts for him to read. He said that he read big chunks of the book, and he seemed impressed, yet he was not willing to agree I should do it. Clinical research on MS was only done on mice with their version of MS called EAE. Still, prolonged fasting reduced the disease severity of all mice and completely reversed symptoms in 20% of those mice. Still, my neurologist insisted FMD was not proven safe in MS patients. I guess he didn't want the liability if there was a problem since I was otherwise in good health. Despite his wishes, I proceeded carefully and had a great experience. A few months later, I saw my asthma doctor for a follow-up appointment I did the spirometry, spirometry flow volume breathing test, and she said that my numbers looked great. She said the same as three months before. And that's when I admitted to her that I had been doing this fasting mimicking diet. And then I admitted to her that I had stopped taking my asthma pills two months earlier. She was shocked. So I shared my whole story with her, and she agreed that while I do FMD, I don't need my asthma pill. Total success again. What about my eyes? It's a pretty stunning image I put up there. My light sensitivity continues to quickly worsen, but my retina photos appear unchanged from six months ago while I've been doing monthly FMD. My ophthalmologist told me to keep doing what I'm doing, although I understand that fasting cannot fix faulty genetics. Back to my friend Susan. Susan. She had this major transformation following Dr. Longo's recommendations, include, including becoming pescatarian. She found Dr. Longo's work when she was going through chemotherapy for breast cancer just before Prolon re released the FMD. So she began fasting, real fasting, just water, without telling her oncologist. But her doctor was happily shocked to see that she was still functional after her chemo treatments. Her chemo gave her such profound neuropathy in her feet that she, unbeknownst to her oncologist, did a three-day water fast before her next chemo treatment, and she continued for two more days of fasting after that treatment. Her chemo-induced foot neuropathy nearly vanished just 24 hours uh, with, with just 24 hours of fasting. Her IBS disappeared, and her joint instability and pain healed. As stunning as Susan's experience was, even she agrees that the very best result of FMD is that your body can target and kill cancer cells at the cellular level. It can help you even avoid a dreaded cancer diagnosis. So 
So how many prolon cycles do they recommend in a year? The prolon clinical trials, remember, included three consecutive monthly five-day cycles. They recommend that everyone who is able should complete one or two FMDs per year, and those with autoimmunity should do monthly FMDs. For metabolic syndrome, they recommend three consecutive, a starter of three consecutive months of FMD, followed by a doctor's evaluation to decide how to proceed. Prolon did a fantastic job of creating a simple plan to follow with variety and good taste. Their kit also includes a 15-minute phone consultation to answer your specific questions and ensure that you're prepared for a successful experience. They can tell you which prescription medicines are safe to take and still get the optimal benefits. If you have a medical condition, though, be sure to consult with your doctor before starting FMD. Insulin-dependent diabetics are na not able to do FMD at all. I'm so thankful that I learned about Dr. Longo's FMD and gave it a try. During FMD, my thinking is clear and my body feels refreshed. I do it to give my body a change and to try to kill autoimmune and cancer cells and to produce the stem cells. I truly hoped it would fix my retinas and joint problems. That's another health thing I didn't talk about, the joints. Hoped it would really fix my eyes, though. My symptoms continue to worsen with my eyes, but I'm able, um, the imaging appears unchanged with monthly FMDs over six months. So I, I have some hope with my vision. We'll see how that goes. I feel good though, knowing I've done everything in my power to try to improve my health. I'm relieved, to find, I'm relieved that my asthma and rotator cuff are fixed. It's the best treatment ever. I consistently lost four to six pounds per FMD cycle, but my stress level ultimately kept me from keeping that weight off. Nearly 9,000 practitioners offer Prolon to their clients. One of my doctors and one of my daughter's doctors each do FMD. I encourage you to integrate it into your practice if you want to see global improvements in your patient's health. Practitioners can learn more at the practitioner side of the website, prolonpro.com. FMD offers people the ability to take control and make dramatic improvements in their health. A very special thank you goes to my beautiful daughters who helps me create the slides for this presentation. I could not have done it without them because left to my own devices, quite honestly, the slides looked like they were made by a second grader. <laughs> Yay, high school kids. And I'll leave on this note. As we open it up to questions, as we all know during fasting, you never trust a fart. <laughs> questions. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Anne. We'll so take much. questions up here at the mic. We have about five, six minutes. Thanks for your presentation. Thank you. Um, I actually was sort of interested in FMD about three years ago. Pull this out. Um, and kind of thought about putting the money into trying it out, but I'm kind of a do it yourself kind of person. Yeah. So I immediately went to, as you went to, to try to find websites with recipes and such. Of the benefits that come from the FMD diet, mm -hmm. I suspect that all or most come from a pure uh, fasting rather than from a fa what fasting? A pure fasting, pure, water fasting. Oh, okay. water. Yeah. Um, and that the fasting yes. mimicking diet, and you can help me on this, is primarily to help the stress, the mental stress about Mental, a pure I, fasting. I think it would release, relieve a little bit of the physical stress too. Right, but, but part of that stress is involved with the, the benefits of fasting, yes. I think. Um, so did, did Prolon, um, obviously they gave you the blessing to use their slides, and they don't want FMD used for the do-it-yourself version of it. Correct. And yet you, that's your, because it's so expensive, that's your primary path. That's af after I tried theirs twice. Yeah. Then I, because my husband was not willing to have me continue. Right, right. At all. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure I had a question, but I, I guess okay. I wanted to get a sense of the, 
the, the process of the FMD. Um, and I'm glad to hear that they're nonprofit. I, I, for yes. a long time, I was kind of bothered by the profiting off of a, of a, a health benefit. Right. Um, I agree. And, and, and keeping it kind of a, 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 a package system, which is akin to processed food anyway. No, I agree. It's, but I think it's freeze-dried soups. I, I think that's about a, a good way to describe the packaged soups and things. But they're good, and the bars are macadamia nuts and honey and real ingredients. And he has organic olives from Spain and good things in there. High quality. Hi. Thanks Hi. for your presentation. Just a couple quick questions. Yes. One thing I was curious about is what eating type um, framework you use in between your fasting mimicking diet. And the other part is just I assume you're familiar with Jason Fung's work. Oh, yes. And talking about why FMD versus just a straight up fast, which seems to also work really well for people. Oh, of course. Like my friend Susan, she just did straight fasting with extraordinary results. I'm not brave enough. It, it took me a year to get to this point to start FMD. Um, your first question, what's my normal diet when I'm not doing FMD? Nine years ago, went in a more paleo direction, 80% paleo kind of thing. Um, last couple months, more, more keto out of that, but my, that, that picture of the old man with the house burning, that's, that's kind of <laughs> my health. And so I've gotten lax. And I think psychologically it's been really hard for me because I get in that FMD zone and I only eat those certain foods and I do fine. But then when I'm, like an OCD thing almost, and then when I'm out of that, I just have this free for all. Oh, well I can have this extra stuff and that stuff, yeah. I, I love that. I'll repeat that into the microphone. As she asked if that might be a natural hormo or hormonal response to fasting, that you eat a lot of food and get really hungry afterwards. And I don't know that side of things well enough to give an answer, but it sure makes sense. And we always talk about feast or famine. Swing this way or that way. Thank you. More of a comment than a question, but uh, I approach these things somewhat cynically. And, of course. Uh, Walter Longo says that he will donate 60, the profits from his 60% share of El Nutra to the Create Cures Foundation, which is his own foundation, which funds his own lab, which funds the R&D for Prolon. And there's no financial statements available for El Nutra oh. or uh, that, and he's never confirmed any such donations. That's interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you so much for coming this morning.